Good morning, St. Francis. It is Thursday, July the 22nd, 2021. Um, Thursday in the 16th week of the year, but more importantly, it is the Feast of St. Mary Magdalene, the Apostle to the Apostles. Um, coming to you once again on location because we have to install two pastors uh, this upcoming weekend. Uh, so, uh, Father Bill Upa in St. Therese in Wilkesville Beach, a very important place to me over this past summer. Um, and then also uh, Father T. Davis uh, at St. Mary's, the Basilica of St. Mary in Wilmington. Uh, so we are uh, down here uh, in the southern tier again of the um, of the diocese. Uh, again, always to remember, Mary Magdalene, not a sinner. Uh, Mary Magdalene, who is the apostle to the apostles, the first to witness the resurrection, or to be told of it, um, and then to go out and to proclaim to the apostles, who themselves are hiding in an upper room where the Last Supper took place, uh, that everything that Jesus said would come to pass has indeed come to pass. Start believing it and go out and proclaim it. Uh, continuing to keep Mary Magdalene as just someone who was this uh, destitute woman who had uh, a terrible life um, and uh, again was this awful sinner, prostitute, whatever you want to call her, um, is not correct. Um, yes, there is one mention of her being having seven demons cast out of her, but that is not uh, to give us some total of what that means or who her life or what her life was. Who knows what her life was like? There is very little information on her. Um, she is not the Samaritan woman. Uh, which I think sometimes happens with the conflation of both the image of Mary Magdalene of the Samaritan woman, who herself was also a victim of culture and society around her. Uh, so we honor Mary Magdalene today. Again, she has been moved from a memorial to a feast by Pope Francis uh, because of the importance um, of her role in salvation history, the key pivotal importance of her role in salvation history. Um, if she had not been there at the empty tomb, expecting to find it, the, the stone still closed and, and a body still in it, uh, but to be there to witness uh, the, the annun announcement of the angels and the messengers uh, that the tomb was empty and to see for it herself and then to be told to go proclaim to everyone uh, that everything that God had planned had come to pass even though we put so many obstacles in the way of it. In the same way, perhaps, we, stopped having, we need to stop putting obstacles in the way of each other um, and in the way in which many people who have preceded us in faith have unfortunately been described or characterized. Those obstacles will only serve uh, to deaden and to, uh, and, and to uh, prohibit uh, and to lessen uh, the power of their witness in our life as believers. May we, like Mary Magdalene, have the courage to be able to see what others fail to see, to witness what others are afraid to witness, and to proclaim to all the world the good news that Christ is Lord, that Christ is risen. And may the Lord give you his peace.